rester, s'il vous plaît. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Excusez-moi, monsieur. I happen to teach French, but I find that in the, the course of the average day, I'm teaching a lot more than just French. Most of us, uh, most of us do. We teach manners. We teach um, how to relate to each other, how to make accommodations for each other. That diversity, it could be in terms of uh, the backgrounds that we have. It could be in terms of the intelligence, the, the natural gifts that we have. And so I find that often I'm teaching kids how to um, partner up together, how to work together, how to collaborate. Un stylo, oui. Quel couleur est-ce que tu choisis? Ah, ah, ah. Dis-moi. Bleu, violet. 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 Et voilà. No matter what happens outside of school, uh, walking in in the morning, and sometimes you get a little bit stressed, you've got other things going on, and that bell rings, and you're looking at 35 faces um, ready to learn in varying states. Um, that's, that's my inspiration, is the kids. Et quelque chose à manger, monsieur? Un sandwich, peut-être? No, merci. Je reviens tout de suite, monsieur. When they've uh, enjoyed a lesson, they speak French and they enjoy it. I love when they laugh. I like when they have fun with the language. I like when they construct things themselves because it's something that was interesting to them. But I need you to email me in US dollars, okay? So that I know what to expect on my virtual credit card bill. I've always wanted to serve. Um, the, the kids are my joy. I've uh, I just had a really, I've had a cool upbringing. I lived in three different continents and I just feel that I've had a lot of experiences that, uh, that I want to share. We're gonna look at a menu for a cafe that is really, really famous. Um, il y a deux cafés célèbres à Paris. L'un s'appelle Café de Flore. It's, it's a gift to me when, when the kids tell me that they've done a junior year abroad or that they want to go work for the United Nations or they're learning German now too. They got passionate about foreign language. So these are, these are the gifts that the students give to me years later. Grace Kilimai. Not all of us came from a house where education was valued. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to, I had a tremendous mother um, who raised my brother and I to do, to do well in school. That's all right, I get it. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Um, anyway, so next, next slide. We have, uh, I'm very uncomfortable up here. The idea of, of, uh, of having to speak was, was quite frankly nerve wracking to me. And it makes me feel more comfortable to feel like I'm part of a team. And so I was thinking team foreign language. This is, I think this is the first time we've been on this stage. Um, so thank you. A lot of times people think all we do is eat tacos and watch videos, and it's, it's not the case. Uh, we do the core, we, we teach speaking, reading, writing, and listening to language. We also teach about culture, so uh, we like to think that we supplement the core curriculum, that we, we like to um, back up the core classes. Um, we, people often think that we teach the Harvard bound. We, we teach the Harvard bound, it's true, but they're also sitting next to a student with a 504 or an IEP of some kind that we have to uh, encourage as well. Um, the next one, I, I promise I only have four. The thank yous. Um, thank yous to um, the, the, this process. Thank you to Chris Gellerman for nominating. Um, you are sitting next to someone who nominated you, um, who took the time in a busy, busy part of the year to, um, to, to write something glowing that represented you and made you look good enough that your faculty voted and, and got you into this, into this room tonight. Um, I just have to tell Chris that I have read your, your nomination like four times because every now and then you have a bad day and you're like, oh, that's right, I'm awesome. <laughs> so thank you. Um, thank you to... Um, our spouses, our spouses are the widows of teachers who are used to us grading papers. We can't go to Universal this weekend. I just gave a test on Friday, so we have to grade. Um, thank you so much to the family and the friends. We all have family and friends sitting at our tables that came. Um, a lot of us came from so far away. Thank you so much. Friends, former students, some of us have former students sitting at our table, which is awesome. Chris, once again, Jess, thank you for recommendation. Mr. Roulette, thank you for recommendation. Um, the celebrations, we all had celebrations at our school. We're thankful for those. 
Um, thankful for the videographers that put together that, that P, that put together that montage. It was really, really, really well done. Um, Nancy Waite and the committee for um, doing the selection, making the selection process so smooth. And um, to Futures for putting on such an incredible event. This is, we are not, we are the only district that gets this. Others do not. It's my last one. Okay, part of the team. So we're now Team Volusia. Um, I'm, I have to, I'm very honored to represent. I'm, uh, I'm humbled, I'm honored. I think that it does take a village to, to raise a child. I was counting earlier. It, I think each child gets 49 teachers, plus guidance counselors, plus consultation teachers, plus principals, administrators, um, probably the parents of other students as well that, that all are part of this. I promise I work very hard. I will do my very best to grow this year, um, to represent as well. And um, I'll, I'll leave it with the words of Alexander Dumas, that he was uh, the Three Musketeers guy. Uh, I'll say it in English though, but one for all and all for one. Let's go Team Volusia. Yeah.